or species introduces a new kind of dissonance, the suspension. Up till now, dissonances have always occurred on the weak beats of the bar that have been approached and left by step. Suspensions place dissonances on the strong beat for the first time. Their preparation is also handled in a new way. The original idea for the suspension probably comes from vocal writing, where leaping to a dissonance is difficult. But what if the note starts off as a consonance in the previous bar, and then sustained becomes dissonant as the harmony changes around it? This is how a suspension works. Here are two examples. In A, the F arrives as a consonance in the first bar, holds over to become a dissonance, a seventh in the second bar, and resolves down into another consonance on the next beat. The suspension is in the upper part here. In B, the F in the lower part starts off as a consonance in the first bar, becomes dissonant when it's held over to the second bar, and resolves down to the consonant E. Here the suspension is in the lower part. The numbers between the parts are the suspension's names. First the dissonant interval, then the consonant resolution. So, the first example is a 7-6 suspension, the second is a 2-3. In classical suspensions, the resolutions are always downward. It is also possible to write upward resolving suspensions, but they're rare in the classical repertoire. So for now, all our suspensions will resolve by step downward. Here's a list of all possible upper and lower suspensions. Although the 2-1 suspension is theoretically possible, in two parts it sounds odd since the resolution is an empty unison. Therefore, we'll avoid it for the moment. The 9-8 suspension, and even more the 7-8 suspension, can sound strange in two parts also due to the bare sound of the resolutions into octaves. In three and four parts we can add richness with the third voice, but in two parts these bare holes can be unconvincing. In particular, the 7-8 suspension can sound odd, since the resolution is already sounding above. The effect is even cruder if the 7th is a major 7th instead of a minor 7th as above. Now let's look at an example of the 4th species counterpoint. Notice how, in measure 3 and 4, the chain of suspensions is broken. Why? Well, if we tied F over the bar line, its resolution would have been E in measure 4. But that would mean that the added part was just making delayed octaves with the cantus, F and E. The sound would be very bare, and the parallels are easily audible. So we break the chain here and move to another consonant, and then resume the suspension line. These breaks should be rare, not more than one per exercise. Notice also that when the tied note doesn't create a dissonance in the new bar, for example in measure 6, we can leap to another chord tone since there's nothing to resolve. Now an example with the added part underneath. Because all of our suspensions resolve down, it can be difficult to arrive at a convincing melodic line in fourth species. For that reason, fourth species is the most artificial of all. The best way to think of it is practice in finding opportunities for suspensions. Suspensions add harmonic richness, composers seek them out. Since a suspension is essentially a delayed, descending second, 
What we're looking for is two notes in the cantus that can be harmonized with the descending second in the added part. Let's see how this works. The cantus is in the lower part here, and we're looking for possible suspensions above it. Examples A, B, and C are the three possible ways to harmonize the given notes D, A with descending seconds. A doesn't create a dissonance at all, since F held over will be a sixth, resolving to a fifth. B would create a 9-8 suspension, and C would create a 4-3 suspension. Therefore, C is the richest of the three solutions here. Again, fourth species is really about exploring possibilities for, for suspensions. When we move on to more complex textures, this will guarantee that you don't overlook them. It is possible to do this catalog exercise for every interval within an octave, both up and down, thus creating a full catalog of all possible suspensions. Interested students are encouraged to try this. It's well worth the effort. Remember, before starting a fourth species exercise, mentally list all the possible suspensions between each pair of successive notes in the cantus. Choose the richest ones. Try not to break the syncopated rhythm more than once per exercise. Sing and play.